This is overwhelming. Hey guys, it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to do a little spring clean of my kitchen. So I wanted to go through and I wanted to organize and deep clean everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. This took me several days. It was a very long process. I also was dumb and I probably should have cleaned first and then organized, but I organized first and then I cleaned because I didn't think it through. But let's just get started. This is a little before of my kitchen. This is my kitchen in its natural state. I thought I'd go through all the cabinets and drawers and just show you guys the before of all of them. Let's start with my kitchen island. So some are better than others. This is my little pen drawer. I feel like this is just kind of like a waste of space. Like I can maybe move some things around so it's not taking up so much space in this drawer. Silverware. This is my junk drawer. I would really like to reorganize this and just have it work better. Just have some kind of flow to it. This, get ready for this. This is my junk cabinet. This really needs to be organized through. It is not its best. It honestly overwhelms me and I kind of just throw things in here and I think that I need to be better about that. Going on over here, let me just like move this Easter basket. This is a lot of stuff for my to-do list. This is like a really deep cabinet, so I think that I could use this better and just have more efficiency out of it. This one, I don't think there is really a problem with this. Plates, bowls. I think I have like vases and things like that up here. Some water bottles. And then here's my cups. I think the cabinets are decently organized. Like they're not perfect by any means. They don't stress me out when I open them. Let's see what's in here. Okay, I have liquid IV in there. I think I've had that for a few years now, so I probably should throw it away because it's probably not good anymore. And last but not least, we have this cabinet. See, they're not that bad. The drawers kind of get bad. This is my technology drawer. I would really like to change this into a spice drawer. This is just a super wide drawer and I don't know where I want to put all this stuff. That's the issue, but I'll find a place. I think maybe my junk drawer or like my like little pen stationary drawer. I'll kind of rearrange to make room for this stuff, but I would really like to put my spices here because it's nice and close to the stove, so I think that would work really nicely. And this is my pots and pans. I think that I just need to like clean these. My cast iron skillet is always gross. There's no like great way of cleaning them, so I think I just want to like kind of rearrange this drawer a little bit going over to this side of the oven this is a lot of my utensils it honestly isn't super organized like it's not perfectly aligned but i know where everything is so i'm not mad about this but i think i could make it a little prettier these are just my dish cloths towels all that stuff these are some cutting boards and then i have all my ziploc baggies and stuff like that in here I actually have a Lazy Susan, one of my favorite parts of my kitchen. I think that I could just maybe like spruce it up a little bit, maybe make it a little prettier. And then under my sink. I mean, it's not horrible. It just doesn't look pretty <laughs> by any means. I also forgot to mention this right here is my trash. And then last but not least, jump scare, my pantry. It's not organized by any means. Everything is just kind of thrown in there. And then this is like all my alcohol. And a lot of this alcohol is expired. Like it's been open for years and I probably should just throw it away at that point. We will go through that. I think I want to start with doing the spice drawer. Most of my spices are in this kind of container and I bought some spice containers on Amazon. I'll link them down below, but I want to transfer all my spices into the containers for that. foods if i have doubled something and i've had something for a really long time and i haven't eaten it i probably won't eat it so i'm just gonna like kind of go through this and see what i want to do followed up on tuesday I 
clear bins that I got a couple years ago from Amazon. I'll try to link them down below if I can find them. But I thought that I would put all like my sauces and oils and just stuff like that in these. So they're more organized and I can kind of just like pull them out and get to them when I want them. And I also know where they are because in the past they were all just like shoved in the corner and I didn't visually see them. So I think having them in this will remind me that I have them. Because I have two things of sesame oil because I didn't know that I had this one in the back. So I bought this one that's brand new. But this one still has plenty left. Wait, I should make sure it's not expired. Hold while I figure that out. I probably should have looked to see if these were expired. Um, what does it, where does it say? It doesn't say on here, so I'm like, does this not expire? I don't know. This one's a little overflowed. I mainly wanted to put like sauces and little seasoning things in this and it's kind of like bulging out. There are some backups, like I have backup soy sauce, some like back stock almost. So once I use what's in my fridge, then I'll put that in there and it won't be as like stuff. Okay, I think I finally finished organizing this. There's so much more clear space. So at this very bottom one, I have the like back stock of spices in one of these clear bins. And then I have three vitamins there. And then every single day I do protein powder and pre-workout. So I just like have that there. I might even move it like a little bit closer. Just I grab for it regularly. So why not there? This second one, I have the oils. I have the, I don't even know. What do you call these? Foods, I don't know. I use these cooking oils and sprays a lot. So I have those easy to reach. And then I have this. I thought that I could just like pull that when I want it. I have like this ramen and oatmeal, all these things that I rarely ever use because I forget they're there. So I thought it'd be easy to pull it that way. And then back there, I have stuff that I don't regularly use. And if I need it, it will be intentional. So it's not like I'm like looking at my pantry and I'm like, oh, what's in there? But if I need to get to it, I can just move this easily. So I have some panko, some oats, and then some waffle mix and some pancake mix. And then I also have a little, what's that called? Like chicken broth or something back there. I like these that so I can move them around and I can see where everything is. And then up here, I have just a random box of Cheerios and then this is all my pasta that I have and I never use these. I have these bins left over there from Costco. That's normally what I put like my flour and all that stuff in. So I put all my pasta in there because I have all these other types of pasta that I rarely ever eat so I wanted to put those kind of more towards the front. I think I might even bring these closer or not. I don't know. But I wanted to put the stuff that I want to eat more close to the front so I can remember to eat it and then up here I just have paper towels, more of those bins and then some white vinegar for cleaning. So that's in there. I need to go into here but I'm not looking forward to that. Next up, I thought we would go into the fridge. The main thing that I want to do in this, I want to organize it and clean it. I don't know if I want to do that at this exact moment, but I want to go through and just get rid of stuff that I don't eat, that I don't use, that maybe is expired. I'd rather be alone. I'd rather stay home. I don't want to run in the air. I'd rather stay alone. I'm just in the mood to get rid of everything in my apartment. So next up, we're gonna go to the liquor cabinet that I have. I already showed you guys a lot of this, but some of this alcohol is years old and I'm annoyed with myself that I didn't drink it, but I think that I need to get rid of some of it. Also, my apartment requires us to have a cable box, which is really annoying. And the cable box does not work. So I have it in here until I move out, which is just like a waste of space. So I'm gonna try to figure out if I can rearrange this and see what I can do. In my hideaway, I need another taste of you. If I'm being honest, I think I might have liked this shelf more before I redid it. I think I'm a little too lazy to change it again, maybe in a second. This is a lot emptier. I have the stuff that I normally reach for up front. And then there's a lot of like champagne and wine and stuff like that in the back. So
Believe it or not, it's been over a week since I organized last. Like the beginning part of this video was over a week ago. Simply because I've been putting off organizing this island because it's like a black hole of stuff in there and I feel very overwhelmed by it. So I just kept pushing it off because I felt overwhelmed. But I'm very impressed with myself that my pantry and my spice drawer are perfectly organized. Like they are just as organized as the day that I went through them earlier in this vlog. Very proud of myself. But I was like, I need to stop putting it off and I need to organize my island because what is in it is just like, I don't even know. So we'll get into it. I'm a little nervous for it though. Oh, it's somebody else. Oh, it's somebody else. It's somebody else. That's heavy. That's gonna stay in there. I had no idea all this stuff was in there. There's a lot of stuff that was in there in the very back that I was like, I had no idea that was there. The biggest thing is I have a lot of receipts. Oh, this one's ripped. I have this accordion folder under all this stuff that I wanted to organize my receipts monthly, but then I just stopped doing that. And I just started throwing them in there. There's no way that I'm gonna go through all these receipts and organize them monthly. So I might just throw them in this accordion folder, call it a day. I think having those receipts cleared up will be very nice. I also weirdly enough have a lot of Halloween stuff and my Halloween costume, like a pumpkin carving kit. I don't know. I'm gonna go through this. I think this is everything that I have. I have a bunch of these candles. I got like a little candle set for Christmas. And I think that I want to put these in a cabinet in my laundry room. I also think that I want to put the Halloween stuff in the cabinet in my laundry room. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to pick out one and light it. We're going to go with eucalyptus. <gasps> I just knocked my camera over. Whew, that was scary. I'm not obsessed. I feel like it's also just kind of a junk drawer and I'm afraid that this is going to get messy again. It's gonna be like where I put stuff. I feel like I don't really know what to put in here. I don't really know how to organize the random things that I have in here because these things need to go somewhere. There's obviously so much more space than there was last time without like when I took out all the stuff and it's a lot easier to find stuff. I just feel like there's no like real organization to this. And I don't know if I'll ever love the way I have it. <laughs> This video is so unbelievably spaced apart because I just have had no motivation to actually clean. I've done a good amount of organizing here as we've seen, but I haven't done any of the deep cleaning like I want to do. So we are going to do it today. Whether it kills me or not, it's not going to kill me. That's so dramatic, but I just like, I don't want to do it for whatever reason. I really want to deep clean my oven and my microwave and do all that stuff. I have a bunch of just like clutter on my kitchen counter. So I'm just going to clear that all off and then we will start cleaning my appliances. Yeah. because it's gonna take the longest is clean my oven. So I just watched a YouTube video. I've done a ton of research on ways to like deep clean your oven. I've only ever done the self cleaning thing on the oven. What is it? The self cleaning button. But I wanna try something new. So I've seen people combine water and baking soda. I've also seen them combine like vinegar and baking soda. I've seen people combine a bunch of different things, but I just watched a YouTube video. We're gonna try what the YouTube video said. I've seen a bunch of different variations of this. If you guys think there's a variation of this that's better, let me know and I'll try it out next time. But I'm gonna do equal parts baking soda and water and we're just gonna make like a little paste out of it i'm starting with a third cup i feel like that's the safest then we're just gonna mix it and turn it into a paste okay maybe i shouldn't have done equal parts because this is just liquid so i'm gonna add more baking soda until like it's a little bit thicker when the video said it should be like the texture of glue i definitely think i oh, i added way too much water this is gonna make way too much now bad idea don't do equal parts good to know now i'm worried i added too much this is what it looks like This is the before in my oven. It's not filthy by any means, but there definitely is some spillage and, you know, some spots. I've seen so many different videos and they've all said to do something different. One of them said to paint this on and then you leave it for a couple of hours and you just let it soak up. So I'm just going to do that. It said to use one of those like little kitchen brushes. <laughs> so I'm just going to lather this on. Somebody, oh.
the video that I watched that he closed the oven like let it sit for eight ish hours So we're gonna do that now for the oven racks last time I deep cleaned my kitchen I just used like soap and I tried scrubbing them, but it didn't really work out So I watched the same YouTube video that taught me about the oven It said to put this in your bathtub spray it with white vinegar I don't have a spray bottle so I'm just like pour some on there sprinkle baking soda over it Fill it up with hot water and let it sit for a while. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna hope it goes well I've never really done this before <laughs> That wasn't as smooth as I was hoping for it to be. These are covered in warm water, so I'm gonna let them sit for quite a few hours and just let it soak and everything. There's already like little gross, grimy stuff coming off of it. And then after that, we'll scrub it. I guess I'm just trying to clean all my appliances right away. So we're gonna go to the microwave next. I did this last time and I really liked how it worked out. So we are going to make a little concoction in my science era. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to take a microwavable safe bowl and fill it up with two cups of water water is in here and then i'm going to take two tablespoons of white vinegar and put it in this bowl as well okay that was a little bit more than two tablespoons but whatever i'm gonna give it a little mix and then we're gonna put this in the microwave and microwave it on high for five minutes basically what this is going to do all the gross stuff that's like stuck onto my microwave that's dry and crusted off this is going to steam up the microwave and make it easier to wipe it away so you don't have to scrub really hard i'll show you guys a little before it's not super dirty, but you can definitely tell there's some stuff crusted on the ceiling of it. I don't know, is this called the ceiling of the microwave? It's not super gross, but it's not perfectly clean by any means. And then we're just gonna let it do its thing. <gasps> oops, oops, sorry, I didn't, I just kicked you. My bad, oopsies. Yeah, that's really hot. So this whole thing is steamy. I don't know if you guys can see the steam on this. I definitely need hot pads to take that out. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. There's steam coming from it. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see the steam. I dampened a scrub daddy, and now I'm just gonna kind of clean it all up. I'm wondering if I should do Dawn dish soap. I'm gonna take this off, and I'm just gonna clean this in the sink. I have no idea what I'm doing. If only these four walls could talk, more than just a little tipsy. He got me wise, so I won't talk. The inside is nice. And, oh, I missed. Nice and beautiful. I was scrubbing these things for so long before I realized that they were not stains, but it looks so much cleaner. There are some like permanent stains in here that I really couldn't scrub out like around here. This is an apartment that many people have lived in before me, so I think that's just part of it, but it looks pretty good. I got soap all over this, but I also need to clean my stove top. The other day I was cooking food and I used this towel right here to wipe off the stove top really quickly and this was still really hot. Part of this stained onto here, which I'm really worried about. It's not coming off. I do have stove top cleaner that I'm gonna use, but it does make me worried that it's not coming off right now. I'm worried that it's like burned on. I remember that I have this little scraper thing. This is like an oven tool. It came with like the oven cleaning set. It's getting some of it off, but not all of it. I'm gonna try the glass cleaner and then we'll go back to this if need be, which I hope we won't. Girl, I don't think it's strong enough. So shiny this looks better but it doesn't look great like you can definitely still see i'm worried that i scratch it like i'm worried that these are scratches that i made and not dirt from like the little blade the more it dries the more you can see it so i'm like dang it did i do that i just googled this baking soda and vinegar really are the dream team i need to get a spray bottle for my vinegar every single thing that i read online says something similar but different so i'm gonna put some vinegar onto the area it's like a spray i don't have a spray bottle and then I'm gonna sprinkle some baking soda on top. I love when it sizzles. And then a bunch of them said to put a damp washcloth over top, let it sit for like 30 minutes and then scrub after. I'm gonna do that. Let that all sit. This is damp with warm water. Let's really hope this works because I wanna get my security deposit back at the end of all of this. I have a bunch of dishes in my sink, so I'm gonna load them in the dishwasher. They're just kind of in the way. Get back 
One thing that I should have done was deep cleaned all my drawers before I reorganized because now I don't want to take everything out once again, wipe down these drawers and put everything back in that's been organized. So I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe I'll clean the drawers that I didn't organize. A lot of them have those like slip mats so the drawers weren't gross by any means. Yeah, like this isn't gross. I mean, I am deep cleaning my kitchen so I probably should. One thing that I do want to go through and clean is my trash drawer. I have one of those like little pull out trash things in here. I want to obviously take my trash out but I want to clean the drawer and the bins just make sure they're nice and clean so we'll do that <laughs> My trash can doesn't close all the way, so I just assumed that it was like a screw that needed to be tightened. I think that the screw was stripped or something because it just kept turning and turning and turning and it wouldn't tighten. Also, I have no idea how I got these trash cans in here with the lid with them both fitting because that was like a jigsaw puzzle. It's been like 25 minutes for this, so I think I'm going to try it. I'm nervous. I'm really hoping I didn't damage the stove top. That doesn't look any better. I got most of it off but it doesn't look amazing this is it so it was like all up here so i'm pretty happy about that but right here i don't know if you guys can see that i'm definitely worried i'm not gonna get my security deposit back because of that i think i might have scratched it like going too hard i don't know what it is next up there is one drawer that i want to clean i accidentally spilled protein powder yesterday in my silverware drawer so i just kind of want to wipe this down Guys, so I messed up. So I was cleaning this because there was just like a lot of like built up little gross stuff in these little holes. But somehow I got soap down here and I don't know how to clean. This is the most weird angle of me. I don't know how to clean and get in there. But now that's like stuck in there. So I don't know what to do. Like I don't know how to take it off. I think I might have to like screw this off, which I don't think I'm the right person to do that. Also, this smells horrible. So I'm going to close this. But I got soap like here and i don't know what to do the back stuff is from cleaning but this right here i got it all down there i don't know what to do hear that i don't know what i did there's this really loud 
noise. I don't know what I did. I was about to submit a maintenance request really quickly because I was like, did I just like press a button and something, something is happening and it's not good? I thought my sink was gonna blow up. I'm not kidding. I thought it was like a gas leak. I don't think there's gas in a sink, but I was just like, it, it has to be something like that. But it stopped. My kitchen is not gonna explode. Don't worry. It's doing it again. It stopped? Okay, this is like stressing me out. I'm like, I don't know what happened. I think I'm still gonna submit a maintenance request. It just did it again. I don't know what this like ringing noise under my sink is happening. I don't know. But I remember I bought these. This is dishwasher cleaner. Basically put this in your dishwasher and it's supposed to just like make the odor go away. I don't think my dishwasher smells that bad, but since I'm cleaning it all, I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna scrub my sink down and then I'll do one of these. The last thing that you guys saw me do was I swiffered and I got all the crumbs out of like the underneath of all my cabinets. Then I vacuumed it up and then I took a wet magic eraser or like a damp one and I kind of cleaned like the baseboards of all my cabinets because I feel like those get neglected and are kind of gross. So I just did that. And then in the middle of the night, because I couldn't sleep, I decided to clean out the baking soda mixture in my oven. I would not recommend it. When I say that I had to wipe it down 20 times, I'm not exaggerating. It was actually 20 times that I clean it and it didn't clean it super well. I don't recommend that baking soda mixture on the oven unless I did it wrong. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm kind of thinking of doing a spring cleaning video for my closet and for my bathroom because those need it probably more than my kitchen does. Let me know if you guys want to see that. And I love you so much. And I'll see you in my next video.